Here we go again. League One playoff final day. Barnsley versus Sheffield Wednesday for a place in the championship. A South Yorkshire derby down at Wembley. My third day in a row down in the capital. The last EFL game of the season. Hopefully, it's going to be an epic. It's been so tight the last two days with Luton and Carlisle needing penalties to get themselves promoted. Let's head back down to the capital one last time and see who is going to make it to the championship. We've had this one pegged as a bit of an epic for a while. Sheffield Wednesday, 96 points to qualify just to get here. No automatic promotion for them. Barnsley in the hunt, really peaking as the season went on. Sheffield Wednesday by the league table of favourites, but Barnsley won both of the league games between the two sides. Probably the main reason Sheffield Wednesday didn't get automatic promotion because they were the only team to double the Owls. And that's before we've even mentioned how Wednesday got here in that epic playoff semi-final second leg comeback at Peterborough. Wow, plenty on this, some great narratives. Here we go, third day running, back down the M1. Hopefully all of Yorkshire should already be down there. Nice plane sailing for me on a bank holiday Monday. Wembley, here we come again. We have touched down once again in Wembley, doing this walk for the third straight day. I'm getting a pro at this now. It is the League One playoff final today. Going to head to the ground. We'll get into the teams when we get down. I just wanted to talk a bit about the two managers. who have both done good jobs here in very, very different ways. Michael Duff of Barnsley coming into a club that was relegated last season, straightened things out, employed that lovely pressing style and grown into the season and nearly we're in an automatic promotion challenge but certainly definitely good value to be a playoff team. Darren Moore it's been very very different he's had two seasons at Sheffield Wednesday right up at the top in League One scored a ton of points not got promoted yet and the expectations are just very high given the size of the fan base and you know the general sort of history of Sheffield Wednesday his job seems far more like a statesman type position and keeping things calm which he does beautifully i think either would deserve their promotion today but um will darren moore be considered a failure if he doesn't get it certainly the pressure seems to be on him let's get to the ground We are inside the stadium, nice and early, beautiful day, team news on its way very soon. Who's getting to the championship? Team news in both sides unchanged, that's a bit more pertinent for Sheffield Wednesday than it is for Barnsley. Barnsley, we maybe expected that, they were a lot more comfortable through their semi-final against Bolton, that means Tedic and Cole up front, that excellent midfield three stays together. For Sheffield Wednesday, this is fascinating because they've stayed unchanged from a semi-final second leg team that was all out attack, had to chase the game. Patterson, Windass, Smith, um, Gregory, all still in up front. Liam Palmer in central midfield. I wondered, would they go back and tweak and be a bit more like they were in the bulk of the league season? No, it looks like that means we're going to get a more open game, maybe, than we have had the last two days. Playoff finals, notoriously cagey. We now have a pressing team in Barnsley up against an attacking lineup from Sheffield Wednesday. I'm going to go and sit in the sun. Here comes the League One playoff final. Pretty much down here at pitch level today, you really get an idea of the enormity of Wembley and what these players are about the to put themselves through. Yeah. 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 Players are out really loud in here. It's Barsley versus Sheffield Wednesday to get into the championship. For one last time in the playoffs this weekend. Let's go. Oh, 
about 10 gone here. Lovely at starting any of the three playoff finals. It's in all very direct. Barnsley trying to get the press on. Sheffield Wednesday keen to avoid it. Wednesday just forced two decent chances actually. Bannon gets down. His volley was blocked. And then from the set play, decent save by um, Eisner in goal. Wednesday just edging it so far. 0-0. Anyway, point in the first half, still nil nil. Settled down a little bit, a little bit more attritional, which probably suits Sheffield Wednesday. I'm sure Barnsley would rather have it a bit more chaotic. Nice battle developing between Big Smith up front for Wednesday and the big Barnsley centre halves, but otherwise all very, very even. Nil nil, 24 gone. 10 till half time, looks a bit more like a playoff final now. Neither side really in the ascendancy, neither side really willing to make a mistake. Well, League One, playoff semi-final half-time, nil-nil between Barnsley and Sheffield Wednesday. I have to say, it's a bit of a letdown. That is obviously from an entertainment perspective. I don't really blame either of the managers for maybe showing a little bit of caution. First 10 minutes, I thought we were going to get a right rip roaring game. Those two Sheffield Wednesday sort of chances from set plays did not pan out that way. And it's kind of just fizzled out really into a bit of an attritional, um, I won't say bore fest, but I will say of the three games I've seen this weekend, that last sort of 25 minutes had the least in it. We need to see some kind of set up. I still maintain the fact that a Barnsley win is based on energy and maybe Sheffield Wednesday would have the edge if it is attritional. Let's hope for a bit more in the second half, but am I going to be getting a third day in a row of extra time? Am I going to be getting a third day in a row of penalties? Nil-nil, half-time. <laughs> big, big start to the second half now. Sheffield Wednesday, huge favourites to win this because red card for Barnsley, who started the second half well. They brought in Norwood to add a bit of intensity up front. There was a VAR check for a Barnsley penalty, and then Adam Phillips just threw himself into a tackle. I've only seen it once in real time. It didn't look like a good one. Referee Robinson gave himself some time. He brought out the red card. VAR check then, and the red card stands. Strong favourites now. It's going to be 40 minutes, 11 against 10. The Sheffield Wednesday favour, nil, nil. But potentially huge moment. Well, this one has really woken up now. Barnsley just going down to 10 men, force a set play. Cadden with the volley from the edge of the box. Huge deflection. Dawson's completely done and the ball just loops. It's the crossbar, closest anyone's come. And it's 10 man Barnsley, nil nil, 55 gone. Not entirely sure how this is still nil nil now. Three big chances in the space of about two minutes there. Bannon curls one over for Wednesday. Cadden gets into the box. His shot saved on the near post. Look for all the world like Smith was just going to scramble one in for Wednesday. It feels like a goal is very, very imminent. Famous last words. 20 to go here. Barnsley still looking surprisingly perky despite their man disadvantage here. They don't want to overexert themselves. Maybe Wednesday have to play the long game here knowing if this does go to extra time, the longer it goes, maybe the tired of Barnsley get and the more advantage they will have. Nil, nil, 20 to go. 10 to go. Wednesday don't know whether to stick or twist it. Barnsley look the more likely. Great save from Dawson there. Norwood bustled his way in, hit the shot near post, tipped over the bar. Right on a knife edge here. Nil, nil, 10 to go. And here we go again, extra time for the third day running, nil-nil. Chipper Wednesday had the first 10 minutes, not much else in the first half. Second half changed by that red card. Actually perked Barnsley up Wednesday, kind of didn't know whether to stick or twist. We now go another 30 minutes and possibly penalties, nil-nil. Who is getting to the championship? Midway through period one of extra time, Sheffield Wednesday now starting to show their man advantage. The pressure is building on Barnsley. Can they grab the extra time goal? Barnsley would probably take penalties right now, in my opinion. It's period one of extra time down, and we still can't find a goal. I'm not entirely sure how mad scrambling the Barnsley six yard box. I could have sworn Big Smith was going to stick it in for Wednesday. He did then. A massive chance for the 10 men of Barnsley, huge break by Kitchen, 
the centre half. I think it was Connell who ended up with such a big chance and he puts it wide. Are we destined for penalties once again? I would just have Wednesday as the favourites with the extra man in this last period of extra time, but penalties may be a game for the third day running. Nil, nil, 15 minutes of extra time remaining. Will Volk smashed the ball into the back of the net, but VAR says no, still nil-nil. That's midway through the last period of extra time now. Tension is just beyond belief. Players are starting to go with cramp now. Is anyone going to make a mistake? Moment of magic. Are we going to penalties? Still nil. Yeah. Speaking of players going down with cramp, out of the game goes Barry Bannon and any potential winning goal or penalty shootout for Sheffield Wednesday. We saw Coventry finish without Gustavo Hamer and Luton without their captain Tom Lockyer two days back Wednesday and now going to have to win this without their talisman. 0-0, nil -nil, four and a half to go to penalties. Incredible ending to this one. It is Sheffield Wednesday who are heading to the championship. You can hear them in there. It was, I think, probably, I need to check the latest ever playoff final goal. Surely we were well into stoppage time at the end of the second period of extra time. Josh Windass, it's a great diving header to win the game for Sheffield Wednesday. Everything turned on that red card at the start of the second half for Adam Phillips. Sheffield Wednesday seemed to be a bit confused by playing against 10. Barnsley rallied as the game went. I was certain we were going to get a goal in the first period of extra time. We didn't. It went and it went and it went. And in the end, despite chances for both sides actually in extra time, Wednesday nick it at the death. Huge commiserations to Barnsley. I think Mike Duff has done a fantastic job. I think they'll be fine. I think they'll be up there again next season. Sheffield Wednesday, big congratulations. They just needed to get over the line by any means necessary. They've scored a ton of points the last two seasons. 96 this season. They have won a hell of a lot of games of football at League One level and finally they've got themselves over the line and back into what looks like a stacked championship lineup next season. Commiserations Barnsley, congratulations Wednesday. Stick with me for a little while longer. Have a look up there and you can see what happened uh, two days back where it went all the way indeed to penalties. Not quite today. Wednesday up, they're back in the championship. <laughs> 